you have probably scoured the internet on how to find keywords, how to know what keywords are correct, how to know exactly which ones you should be using, all of the things. And so today I'm gonna tell you about one of my favorite tools to find keywords, figure out which ones are perfect for you and rank for things that you wanna be found for on the interwebs. and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jessica Stansberry and my mission in life is to help you get out of your own way so you can do what you were put on this earth to do. And so if that sounds like something you're just like, yes, girl, I need more of this in my life, hit the subscribe button because I am not going anywhere. And every single week there's a new video to help you do just that. Now this particular video is all for the content marketers out there, the bloggers, the business owners who want to put out content that is found on search engines, whether that's YouTube or Google or Pinterest or whatever, and how to really figure out what keywords are right for you with one of my favorite tools. So this is a mix of strategy and a tutorial of a tech tool. And the really cool part about this tech tool is that it's totally free. Y'all. I love a good free tool. The tool that I'm going to talk you through today is called Keywords Everywhere. It is a Chrome extension. I do believe they have an extension for other browsers like Firefox, um, whatever you use, but it's a Chrome extension that allows you to see for anything you search, how many times a month it's searched, what the competition is, and how much it would cost you to run an ad for that key term. Now, I'm gonna teach you how I use this and how I teach my students to use it in kind of the Cliff Notes version of like what we wanna look for, why a keyword could work really well for me and not for you and vice versa and all of that jazz. But let's just jump into it. I'm gonna show you how to actually use the tool and explain a little bit about how it works and how it can apply to your business and your keywords too. So let's go. All right, so first and foremost, you have to install keywords everywhere. <laughs> um, but once you do that, you will get a little doodad up here in your extensions. Um, and so you will see it up in this area here. It's gonna look like this black circle here with the K in the middle. And that is what it looks like up in your extensions bar. Now, I actually never go up here to do anything. I just, it just lets me know that it's active. There's been a couple times where it deactivates and it's grayed out like some of these are, and I have to go back in and activate it. But sign up for an account, it's free, and then um, it will show up there. Now, here's the magic. Are you ready? Are you ready? Okay. So let's say I want to do a video on how to set goals, right? So I'm going to start by typing how to set goals. Okay. So you'll see here that there's these three numbers showing up next to all of these results. Now the first number is how many searches per month on Google and YouTube. There are. So this is essentially how many times Google is indexed for that keyword. And um, under my understanding, I could be totally wrong. It includes both Google and YouTube analytics. So how to set goals is searched 8,100 times per month. This middle number, I always tell people to ignore um, when looking at this tool because what that is, is how much it would cost you to run a campaign targeting those keywords with Google ads. So this is a cost per click. Um, so it would cost you $1.36 around there to run a campaign on Google ads to target those keywords. Okay. So then, so I always just say, just ignore that unless that's actually why you're looking up the keywords. But this third number is one you shouldn't ignore. This is the level of competition this keyword has. Now it's kind of hard to read this, but essentially what it is, is a scale from zero to one. So 0.07 is less competitive than 0.1. Then if you look down here, 0.13 is more competitive than 0.04. So look at it like a fraction um, on a scale of zero to one. So 0, 0.0 anything means it has good, it has very low competition. Um, once you start getting into like 0.5 or 0.6 or point, you know, whatever, that means it's getting closer to that one and it is going to have higher competition. So ideally you want to find keywords to target that have a high search per month 
and low competition. So for instance, how to set goals would be a really good keyword for someone to target myself or someone else that wants to do a video or a YouTube video. I just said that a (laughs) YouTube video or a Google, a blog post, um, on with those keywords. Now I want to give you a little secret strategy. If you are just starting out going after something that has that many searches per month, even if the competition is low, is not going to benefit you. You're going to be squished in the search engine. You are not going to show up because you have not, you don't have the authority built up with Google yet or YouTube or whatever to be shown in those top results. So you want to stick with lower searches per month when you have a smaller audience. So my rule of thumb when I'm teaching people YouTube strategy um, and Google strategy, blogging strategy is a little different, but with YouTube strategy, what I say is if you have a thousand or less subscribers, you need to make sure that the searches per month that you're targeting are a thousand or less. Like that's just kind of the rule of thumb. You don't have to absolutely stick to that, but that's always what I kind of give the rule of thumb of. Um, Then as you move up in subscriber numbers, you can target higher keyword searches per month because you have proven your worth to Google and YouTube and your channel or your blog or whatever is um, higher ranking. So you'll be able to rank for higher ranking key terms. So for instance, if you were a smaller channel right now and how to set goals was one of the things you wanted to go with, um, then it's probably going to be better for you to do a video on how to set goals at work or how to set goals in life or as a couple um, or whatever, then it would be to just go after the broad term of how to set goals because they don't have as much searches per month and they have lower competition. When there's a lot of searches a month, the searches a month essentially impacts the percentage of competition there is. And that's kind of a hard one to explain. But essentially, if this only had 500 searches a month, this competition number would be way higher because you are they are Google is breaking it down in um, how many searches per month versus how many results there are. So that's kind of how that's working. So some of these may look like they um, have higher or less searches a month, but higher competition, and they do, but it's based on the ratio of searches per month to how many results there are. So just know that that's a little strategy tip there is to figure out, you know, where you need to fall in that category based on your blog traffic or your YouTube channel. And that's not to say it's a perfect rule of thumb. I mean, easily channels can be found really small for big search terms um, under the right circumstances or blogs that have no, not great traffic may get found on the top of Google for some different things that you wouldn't think they would get found for, but those are rare circumstances. So you want to try and stack the cards in your deck in the best way possible. So I would go after them like that, but that's essentially how you use keywords everywhere. Um, it's, it's a very, very simple tool. It just kind of brings in Google analytics to, or not Google Analytics, but Google Keyword Finder, the stats that you would normally find there into the search bar. Now this works in the YouTube or the Google search bar. So any keyword that you have here, you can see how many searches per month there are. So if I just start typing Jessica Stansberry, whoops, um, you can see there that my name had 320 searches a month um, and there's very little competition for it because really everything you're going to find is from me. So um, you and some random real estate agent that's local to me that has my same name, which I don't love, but <laughs> um, but essentially you can search for anything here and find how many searches per month it has, how much competition and use that to gauge how you want to go forward and target the keywords that you need to target. So do you feel more empowered to figure out what keywords to use for your videos or blog posts or Pinterest pins or whatever now? I knew you would. So here's what I need you to do. I need you to hit subscribe because I don't want you to miss any other tips and tricks like this one with me every single week so that I can help you hit those goals and those dreams that you have. So hit subscribe, come back next time, and I will see you later. Bye, y'all.